In today's video, I'm going to show you guys and explain to you how you can get more kills and stay consistent in Rainbow Six Siege. Now, I'm going to be opening up your eyes a little bit and explaining, you know, the point and the factors behind getting more kills and what you can do. You know, it's not always about gun school either. It's about game sense and, you know, using your utility. So, hopefully I open your eyes a little bit. I'm going to be making a ton of videos. So, if you guys want anything or if you want any videos, please let me know in the comments below and let's get straight into the video. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about and explain is being passive aggressive. Now, everyone always asks me, yo, Ice Cold, you know, when do I need to get passive or, you know, when do I need to get aggressive on my enemies? When do I know when to push? Now, this all takes in factor of what your numbers are up, you know, if you're, uh, if you have a player up, so if it's a 1v2 or 1v3, you know, you have to decide there. Do I need to take a pinch on someone if they're solo? Or do I need to, you know, eliminate one so I make the main count even? Now, if your team has eyes on them or, you know, they have some sort of info on them, then you definitely should take the push and to be able to factor in that you need to take the 1v1 on them. Now, if you lose the fight, obviously it's your fault, but it's better than not taking a gun fight and just being scared. Now, this will even up the man count and it will make it so that you and your teammate could just take one person each on each. You can hold crosses, you can hold angles, and that's how you win the gunfight. Now, next thing I want to talk about is just entry. Now, most people are very scared just to entry, but here's the thing. If you have a cam or if you have intel on someone and they call a place clear, take the position that they have. Now, this will open up opportunities for you to get more kills and it will make it so that you are not afraid. You know, you have to have confidence when getting into gunfights and being able to push such areas like this. In this clip in the Yana, you just saw that I pushed, you know, my teammate's drone and I got two, three kills off of it because of that. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is your position. I recently just made a video about positioning. If you haven't checked it out, it's in the tips and tricks videos, you know, the last five videos I made. Uh, but your positioning when getting kills, you know, putting yourself in a, in a place where you can get kills is very important because it's the way, if you hold angles, you know, such as this clip right here, right? I held angles, you know, got some kills. But it's very important to put yourself in good scenarios where you can either get the refrag or you can get a pick and make the main count even or in your favor. So, basically what I'm saying is getting frags is good to a certain extent. Although KD may matter at some points, I do not believe in it whatsoever. Now, there's better people, you know, obviously people bait sometimes and there's more entry fraggers. But, you know, there's some reasons why people have higher KDs than others. And it's okay if you have below a .9 KD. I hate when people say, oh my god, KD matters, when it really doesn't. You know, everyone has their own play. And now I'm going to talk about why KD doesn't matter whatsoever. Now, there's different people in Siege, obviously, you know. You have some people that support, you have some people on flex. And you have some people that just do whatever. You know, including myself as a flex, I can run breach, I can literally do anything I can imagine or anything I want to do. Now, why KD doesn't matter is because of the reason that you can get kills in this game by baiting. And you can get kills, you know, through stupid stuff as well. Like, it doesn't always show gun skill. So you have utility, you have C4, you have gadgets, etc. Now, the way you use your utility and your gadgets is important because of the reason that you can get kills with it. Now, sometimes you may get some more kills than others with Nitros, and it doesn't show that. You know, it shows your actual overall KD. And I think anything above a .8 is good, in my opinion, just due to the fact that it shows that you can actually may have some guns go with that, and you may die sometimes. And it's okay to have a negative KD. Now, as over time, the more you play, the more experience you get, the better your KD will get. And the more things, you know, you work on, such as, you know, gun skill, game sense, etc. like that. And, again, it's okay to have a bad KD. Now, as long as you see improvement in the future, as in, you know, maybe it takes a year, maybe it takes a couple years, maybe it takes, you know, maybe it takes three years, and that's okay. But as long as you learn, and as long as you develop the, you know, the functionality and the brain work behind it, then you are fine. Now, the next topic that I want to talk about is practice. Now, always in my Twitch chat, people ask, yo, Ice Cold, how much practice do I need? How much time does it actually take to become a better player and to raise my KD up? Now, it may take, again, months, years, and that's okay. But if you practice, if you play at least two hours a day, you know, maybe two, three matches, then you should be fine. It's just about consistency and how long you're on. Now, if you're playing, you know, every day for seven hours and you're just not learning anything, then that's an issue. 
you need to focus up and you need to you know try to learn something new every single day and try to try something out you know try something new out you know whether it's in between controlling recoil learning call outs you know or maybe it's on your off time you know watching youtube videos you know including myself and uh if you you know the more you watch the more you play the better you'll get and i can promise you that it took me about a year to get champion on pc and it took me about i want to say three years to actually get diamond on xbox before i switched over and it's just because i was playing for fun you know i actually sat down i watched youtube videos i recorded my you know my clips and stuff like that and it basically helped me become a better player now the final topic that i want to get into is using your utility to the right purpose now as you know or if you know basically siege you know changed a lot of stuff for the future between nitro cells you know claymores etc like that now there's you get two claymores on attack you know, you have one nitro still. There's a lot of operators with, you know, nitro is now barbed wire and utility. And basically, it's super nice. You know, two claymores, you can watch two jump outs now. It actually makes the game so much better. Now, if you can put your claymores in the right position, you can get more kills. And you can position yourself to get, you know, more in scenarios, per se. And you can get more kills. You know, you can line yourself up. You don't have to worry about your runout and stuff like that. Now, t again, you know, learning and taking time to learn the different gadgets and, you know, the different ways you can get kills with them is very important. Now, the first thing you need to do, at least on attack, is you need the drone out. You need to look out for your area, you know, what you have. On cafe here, you know, say they have a pixel shield in the corner, you know, you have two stuns and you have two impacts. You can burn if you want to and you can get rid of that shield easily and then maybe the guy's still on there and you can get a free pick or when your teammates can set yourself up for success basically now obviously assists don't count as kills and it shouldn't but there is a way that you know you can work towards your teammates and he can give you good comms that you can get the same amount of kills you know hey can you hop on this cam hey you know can we do this guys where can we push is there any info we have on this guy you know you just need to communicate with your teammate and it honestly all comes down to that and that's how you get more kills and you bring your KD up higher. Now hopefully this video helped you guys. I tried to go in depth a little bit here and try to explain the mind behind of, you know, getting a better KD and what you can really do to improve yourself. Uh, if you, like I said, if you guys have any videos or anything, uh, just let me know in the comments, you know, leave a like, leave a comment. It really helps the channel. Also join the Discord if you aren't in it yet. Uh, I also stream on Thursday, Friday, Saturdays. If you have any questions, you always come by there. You can always ask, hey, you know, Ice Cold. How can I do this? I just go, what do I need to do? You know, I'm always down. You know, I'm a really nice streamer. Uh, still waiting for the Twitch partner application to come back. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I love you all. And stay tuned for more content coming up soon. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I hope you enjoy the video.